Dr. Ken Lando. Have you noticed all the ads for non-24 public service announcements? They tell you about non-24. They say that it's a condition that affects people who have no light perception. They say that there are about 1,300,000 people who are blind in the United States, legally blind. But only about 85,000 to 100,000 people suffer from this condition known as non-24. That's about 50 to 75 percent of the people who have no light perception. Now, you need light perception in order to synchronize the circadian rhythm centers of the brain so that you can produce a hormone from the pineal gland that's called melatonin, and that synchronizes the body clock, the temperature, the hormones, everything else. In order for the melatonin to be produced normally, you have to have an input from the back of the eye, the retina, through some ganglion cells going up to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus tells the pineal gland to manufacture the melatonin, and the melatonin goes to other brain areas. And without light perception, we know that there's an abnormality of the sleep-wake cycle that averages about 30 minutes each day so in order to get back to normal, you only get back to normal once every 48 days. And as a result of this, people who have non-24, people who have no light perception, often find that they can't sleep at night. They feel sleepy during the day. When they do get to sleep, they awaken unrefreshed. They feel irritable and they have abnormalities, the hormone control, the temperature control. We know that melatonin once it's produced, goes to two different receptors. And the receptors are scattered throughout the body. Not only are they present in the brain, but they're also present in the uterus, the testicles, the ovary, the lungs. They're present in the coronary arteries and in the aorta. So we have a pill, and the pill is known as Hetlios. Hetlios was just recently approved by the Food and Drug Administration, made by a company called Vanda Pharmaceuticals. You take the pill once every night before you go to bed, you have to take it for several weeks to several months before it seems to be effective. And the benefits, well, they come from studies on a relatively small number of people. So Hetlio seems to be more effective at the MT2 receptor. And we know that if you look at synchronization of the body clock, it occurs in about 20% of the people who take the pill so one in five people taking the pill seem to get the synchronization versus about 3% of the people who take a placebo. And if we define success as people who take the pill and get at least 45 minutes more sleep at night, and they have a reduced daytime sleep by more than 45 minutes, then success is only present in less than one-third of the people, about 29% of the people who take Hetlios versus about 12% of the people who take a placebo. Well, are there side effects of the pill? Yeah, they're not really significant in the overwhelming majority of people. Somnolent, so you get a little tired, so you take the pill within an hour of going to bed, but you might develop some headache or some abnormality of the liver function tests, and sometimes you can develop some nightmares or some abnormal dreams, and animals can have some fetal toxicity if they happen to be pregnant at the time. Now there is this pill, and the pill manufactured by Vanda Pharmaceuticals that you take once at night is horrendously expensive. It's absolutely out of control. The cash price for this pill is about $440 a pill, or in other words, it's somewhere between $12,000 and $13,000 a month or for a year's worth of therapy, cash price is about $160,000. Who is going to pay that kind of money for a modified melatonin? Just because it's approved by the Food and Drug Administration, you're going to come with the, out of your own pocket? Or is your drug company or the pharmaceutical company, rather, going to pay for it? Where do they come up with such nonsense? Well, are there any substitutes? There is one, and it's called Rosarum. Rosarum is a derivative of melatonin, works on the MT1 rather than the MT2 receptor principally, and the drug is much cheaper. It costs somewhere between about $12 and $19 cash price, or $300 to $350 a month, or about $4,000 a year. Or what you could do is you could just go out and try some plain melatonin that you can get at the drugstore, the grocery store, or the health food store. You can buy about two or three months worth of melatonin for five bucks, cash right out of your pocket, end of the story. No insurance, no insurance company, no copay, no nothing.
are there been any studies that show that taking the Hetlios is better than taking the melatonin? Well, up until relatively recently, up until 2014, when Hetlios gained FDA approval, there were no drugs that were FDA approved. And as a result, the American Association of Sleep Medicine said that if you have this condition, go take some melatonin. Now they say you go take Hetlios because it's FDA approved. Well, interestingly, the company behind Hetlios is now studying this pill for jet lag. Well, you can imagine that the price we're talking about and the relatively small benefit, is it really worth it? Well, you decide. But anyway, as John Paul Harvey used to say when he ended his radio shows, and now we know the rest of the story. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ken Landau. Thank you.